So you mean tell me you couldn't fellowship at home? Why yeah. you have to come all the way to Georgia to fellowship? Let's do this. It's time to start making excuses. Let's suck it up and go make it happen. The only thing that you never have is what you grab. The only thing that you never have is what you grab. Yo, 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 Team Jackson, it's your boy Ty. It's your girl Shara. And we're back with another video. You dig, you dig, you dig. Look, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. You'll be notified every single time we drop a video and we say welcome. Y'all have been rocking with us. We say what? Welcome back. Welcome back. You dig. Um, Shara, gonna tell you what we're doing and we're gonna get right into it. Okay, you guys, today you doing we're that? eating Chipotle. So here's a veggie bowl, and I have a, what's it, a half, I think it's a half go veg, half, go go half, half veggie, veggie bowl, and that's it. I think, I think that's good. We'll make sure y'all hear us better on this one. All right, so we'll pray and get on into the... Goodness. Let's do it. Father, we thank you for this food we're about to receive for the nurse of our body in Yeshua's name. We pray. Amen. Amen. And Let's amen. get on into the goodness. Mm. You oh, you got, I don't know, oh, that's that, um, Sofritas, so, so Sofritas, so yeah, Sofritas. Is it Sofritas or Sofritas, mm. in the SA? You, mm. ain't, you ain't got to put no sauce on yours. Mm-mm. Oh, you like yours as it is? I don't think I brought enough sauce anyway. You need some of this? Mm-mm. I got sriracha. Save it for yours. Oh. The other one. Mm-hmm. Do some sriracha, y'all. Mm -mm. I'm good, because the Sofritas, you know, it's kind of... It's not dry, so. And by, by popular demand, this one by Gona. I got another one upstairs. This is in delicious. My bag. Mm. It's delicious. Mm. Oh, are you hungry? Both. Oh, are you hungry? Did you eat? Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, is some, that my water right now? You got now? some lettuce on your neck. How you got lettuce on your neck, man? I have lettuce? Mm hmm. I don't know where I'm. Is that my drink right there? Oh, you need a drink too, though. I got my gallon right there. Okay. I don't know. Probably if I was making salad early or something. We gotta get it. We gotta get our new table. We had a one of our beautiful children. Beautiful children. Wreck, wrecked a our little shindig right here mm -hmm. and hid it from us. I ain't gonna name no names, Nikki. So we have to do a little rigging. We had to rig it till the other one come in, you did. <laughs> but. It's wait a minute. Good. What? I'm supposed, oh, the, so the veggie got some Frida in it? I wasn't supposed to have some Frida stuff in it. it had, yeah, to, it came with some Frida. Oh, okay, my bad. I supposed, I supposed to get it off. Yeah. My bad. Yeah, it got some Frida. But it's good. I mean, I know it's good, but. Mm -hmm. I ain't able to. Ooh, wee. Is it, is it warm enough? Mm -hmm. Let's see what it's talking about. All this ooey. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right, man. It's good. Ooh wee. So how's everybody doing? Hope everyone's doing good. Yep. I hope so. Hey, guacamole, turn this thing up. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Tell me you talking about like guacamole. I'm like, okay. I do. This is really good, y'all. Chipotle. I'm going to tell you what else is good, too. What? I didn't finish it, but I, but I started a documentary. Oh. It's called Freak, Freak Nick. <laughs> and it's interesting how it started out. <laughs> how did it start? Well, it was more about camaraderie. Giving the kids something to do on spring break. Mm -hmm. So, and then I don't know if you know where the name came from. Like I said, remember that song "Freak Out" by Sheik? Mm -hmm. It was more like a fun thing. It wasn't like this crazy thing so, that, so that I remember in the nineties. Oh, so it was okay. It's supposed to be like it was positive more so. Mm -hmm. But um, so like the freak part from that that vibe, and then mm -hmm. the Nick from Picnic. Oh, Picnic. Yeah, and then they said, you know, t later on they found out where the word Picnic came from. You remember that? 
I don't remember. Oh, it's a Pick black. A, pick a, yeah. Yeah. So, anyway. Mm-hmm. Those have been a big picnic. Like a fun. Pretty, that's it. Fun event. Okay. They were selling hot dogs and chips and Pretty sure it was fun sodas and beers. Uh, fun to a lot of people. Yeah, it was fun. I mean, early on, you know, even the one I know about, though. Mm-hmm. I remember hearing about Won't That. <laughs> it was freaky. The freaky Nick. Hey. What? You won't try to go. No, I won't try to go. What? In those days, I probably was in church somewhere. <laughs> anyway, so I probably won't go anymore. So was I. But what I'm saying is, around that time, it was in the 90s, right? Well, it started in the 80s. So, so that's when it was good in the 80s, and it got crazy in the 90s. Yeah, I could have went maybe in high school or something. When did it end, you know? It, I don't remember when it ended, because I know they don't have it anymore. Mm. Um, they, they might bring it back. Oh, hopefully they don't. Hopefully they don't. And let me tell you why. I think it got out of control. I think it'll be point. more positive. I, it did. I didn't finish watching it, but mm -hmm. I just got some memories about wanting to get down there. Why did you want to get down there? I'm curious. For the fellowship, and for the and for the hot dogs, and for the um, chips. See, you mean tell me you can fellowship at home? Why yeah. you have to come all the way to Georgia to fellowship? I mean, it sounded fun. I don't know. Probably, probably wasn't fun. Probably was stupid. It was good. <laughs> you don't like it? It's real good. There's something in it that's a little spicy. That's good. My nose is running. If you can backtrack, would you go? No. Mm -mm. If you was old enough to go in the 80s when it was more, more positive, would you win? Maybe if it was, maybe if it was what it intend, was intended to be at the beginning. Yeah. Before, I think after a while it started getting dangerous. Right. But if it was for the original intention, I probably would have wanted to go. But after people, you know, the the crimes being committed and all that, the all that stuff that started happening, like later on down the line, I probably wouldn't want to go then and stuff. So. I heard mm -hmm. stories. I had some friends that been over the years. And they had a good time? Yeah. I, I did. I think they did like Bible studies. and um, I talked about sorority. So they go to free to um, do um, Bible studies? Yeah, because I told you it was a positive. It was positive at first. I've heard of people. I heard this story. I heard the story of someone's grandmother told them not to go to Freak Nick. Then they went anyway. But let's just say when they, by the time they came back home, all the locks were <laughs> changed. <laughs> they couldn't get back in the house. <laughs> and you, know, you know that word spread like wildfire about that too. Everybody knew the parents. Everybody yeah. knew the love. And you know them grandmas back then trying to be fast. You know they probably told them that. <laughs> you went out there, you gonna stay out there. Uh-uh, go stay with your friends that you went down to freak me with. <laughs> With freak me with. I ain't gone. Gone. Don't come back here. Come back here with all that, all that mess, all that baggage. I told them, and then they probably like, I, you know, because you know what's funny is now they're the, these our grandparents. I don't know. They're very sharp. They're sharp. Very sharp people. I don't know. For some reason, some people think that if, if an older person is not in tune, I think it's mainly by choice. But a lot of times when they choose when they choose to be in tune with their grandkids and what's going on, they're like almost worse than the parents when it comes to like now they'll treat you like um royalty all day every day but but when you get when it gets down to business you start getting out of the pocket. You start getting out of pocket, they almost worse than your parents. Than your mm -hmm. parents. Especially the one that was actually raising the kids. Mm hmm Yeah. Of the grandma that was raising the kid while mama went to work, you know, whatever, or daddy went to work and Or oh, mama lived with mama. Mm-hmm. Mama lived with mama. And daddy. So she was like, You ain't come back in here. Mm-mm. Okay. Change them locks on them. Mm-hmm. Change I them know locks. that had to be torture. A couple of days now you kick now you get you kicked out. But look, I would never 
able to have a good time. If I knew I was late or something like that, yeah. I wonder how that person, if they, that person really had a good time. They probably did. They probably did. Mm-hmm. Cause they didn't think it was gonna be that when they got home. Yeah, they thought they would come in the house. Cause some people get they be like, I'll just suffer the consequences. I'm going to free. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's funny. But it's something else. There's a documentary on Hulu. Yeah, I'm gonna finish it. I might have a part two about this. So I'm gonna get some more information. I think the one that's on Hulu is more of a positive spin on it. Because I've, I've, I've heard other documentaries on Freaknik from a negative perspective. I didn't know there was more than one. Mm -hmm. There's another one out there. I, I watched it a long time ago, but it was more about the bad side of it. But, you know, it, came, it didn't come from us. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure. It didn't come from us. I, <laughs> I think it came from other people. You know. But then I think the one... On Hulu comes from a better, pers like a, not a better, but more of a historical perspective right. of it versus a, um, a opinionated perspective. You know, opinion. It is, it is, it is opinionated, but I think they're trying to highlight, if I'm not mistaken, the bad, the, the good part of it. I'm talking about oh, the one, on, yeah, 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 right. I We're think telling so. the origin of it. The origin, yeah. They're gonna get to the bad part. It sounds like. Oh, they are. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's on deck. I just ain't. I just stopped because I'm like, I know you probably want to see it. Mm -hmm. I know you went a couple times. Comment down below if, you, three times. if you saw your mama or somebody on the video on the. <laughs> you seen the time? Hey, there were some. There were some people too. Like there were some old saw, videos. Or if you saw yourself. <laughs> or your cousin. Um, Let us know if you saw anybody you knew up there. What, what, what would you do if I was capping and you mess around? We watching and you see me up there, young. <laughs> 18 years old. If I saw Ty up there, next video, <laughs> I'm going to talk about it. No, I was in church. <laughs> I was in worship. Mm -mm. I don't know how I would have made it to Freak Nip. The way my parents were, I don't know how I would have made it there. I don't know how. Me neither. Mm-mm. I think by the time I could have pop, probably went, I think it was kind of out of hand at that point. Yeah, I think we were hearing about people getting getting jumped and women you know. were being assaulted and everything. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yep. And Everything so that turned into good, man, get their hands on it. Are there any beans in this? No. Oh, so I dropped the ball then. There's no beans. Mm -mm. So they, I hope they beans in the other one. They ain't the beans in the other one either. Mm -mm, no beans. Oh, so I, I I can't. It's a lifestyle bowls, right? Mm hmm. Next time, I, I definitely want beans. But I build my own. What's interesting about the whole thing is I think um, after a while, I think the men wanted to come out there because the girls would come out there looking extra sexy. With mm -hmm. when I say sexy, y'all may not think it's as because today's sexy is totally different. <laughs> Back then, they probably would have wore short There's shorts. Daisy dudes. Yeah, Daisy Dukes or something like that. Today, you might see someone butt naked on the street. This is a totally different um, era. But back then, um, they were dressed sexy. And, and I think the guys liked coming down there because you saw all the girls, you know, dressed with their short shorts on, shaking their butt, um, or whatever. So it was a little different back then, I guess. But, you know, I never made it down there. Um, I don't know what my role would have been. I don't know. <laughs> You'd be on there for prayer breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have come? <laughs> Your friend? <laughs> you the house. Nobody would have come. I've been there by myself. You know, the more I think about it, the more disgusting I think it is. <laughs> What's wrong? What you laughing for? I can't. Did I say something wrong? No. I'm just, just keeping it a bean, man. I'm keeping it a hundred with you. I mean, right y'all. Thank you. You're, so, you're disgusted with it. I'm, I'm happy you're disgusted. I ain't no way. Miss is sick. Sick, man. Didn't you say you were going to go? You would have went. For huh. what? I said if it was for the old way. 
own okay. the original way that they planned. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna live holy, man. Mm. But now nah, that I'm gonna finish it though. Yeah, I'll watch it with you. This is you good. know what I want right now. Mm -hmm. He has some cheddar popcorn. I just want a couple bites. Mm -hmm. Where's it at? Over there. You talking about um? You want some cheddar popcorn? I mean, literally, like just a handful. That's weird, right, y'all? Um, I saw it. That's probably why I want it. But I couldn't remember where I saw it at. You know how you see something, you'd be like. Well, you want the regular one? This is, a, this is a Dorito one, too. I'll try that later. <clears throat> yeah, I, I'll just get like a couple pieces. And if I get some later, if I get some later, I'll, um, I'll, 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 I'll measure it. Right. You ate all yours? Yeah. It was good. I enjoyed it this time. This time. No, this is why. Sometimes I get a bowl from Chipotle and it's so much food. Mm hmm. This time to me, this was perfect. 70 calories per cup. I ain't bad. Mm -hmm. You want Nope. You gotta get them red onions out of my mouth. <clears throat> well, when I do the moot ball, we'll, we'll add popcorn to it too. Hey, when yeah. I do the title. Y'all wanna do a um, popcorn moot ball? Smart popcorn. Well, maybe we'll do that. You know, we said we want to sit and talk. Maybe we'll do that. Sit here, nibble, drink some tea, and eat popcorn. And eat popcorn and just talk. Oh man! Well, so I gotta get me some more steps. My coach, no, my my coach, um, up my steps to eleven thousand five hundred a day, based off of what I've been doing the last few weeks. But you know, I've been on the tour. When I'm on the tour, I exercise in the morning. I move a lot. So when I'm home, I gotta put a little more effort into it. Um, got my calorie goals, my intake goals. So, but but Ty's doing really good. Actually, mm -hmm. we're both doing really good. We chose, we strategically chose this, um, cause it's part of our uh, us trying to lose weight and mm -hmm. different things like that. Uh, you I'm know, down five pounds in seven days. Yeah, health reasons why. Some people be like, why are you trying to lose weight? People always say that about me <laughs> sometimes. And I'm just like, I don't think you understand. Like, um, I just want to be at, at what they call my my health, my best weight pretty right. much. I'm not trying to be, I don't have a size that I'm aspiring to be. I'm not aspiring to be a size two or nothing like that. But you'll be surprised what size I wear, though. You'll be surprised. Because I'm be like, what? You'll be surprised. What's it's crazy? Like, definitely ahead, double though. digits. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> it ain't no... <laughs> it definitely is. And well, it, what's and crazy, okay. though, is like... I feel better now than I did when I was younger. Yeah. Like, I'm 15 years ago, mm -hmm. I feel way better now. Your eyes still jumping. Yeah. My eyes, if you notice, like this video and the last video... We did my eyes. If you notice, my eyes are probably jumping. I don't know what it is, but it's been jumping for the past. I'm not gonna say week, but a few days, several week. days. Before I got home, you said. Yeah. It, it was, was before I left. So it's been a week. Tomorrow it's been be a week. week. Yeah, it's been jumping since. Yeah. But yeah, but I'm just telling you, we we gonna go on this journey. Um, we'll take y'all with us as far as getting to the point of of a peace with our body. We have young kids. Another reason why. We want to be able to keep up with our young kids. It's not mm -hmm. just about weight loss for us either. It's about being fit. Like if our son wants to play, right now he wants to play fat flag football. Mm -hmm. He actually wants to play soccer. That's really what he wants to play. But right now he's playing, he's about to play flag football. You know, we don't want to be able to not <laughs> like, go, out run around with go out there and run around with them. And, and that's another reason why too. And of course we want to feel good and be at our best um, as well. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, man, we just y'all wait y'all see them before and after pictures though. I was like, I was that big. And some of y'all have seen say y'all have seen the change where I started, then over the pandemic where I got, mm -hmm. and then get you know getting back, get better than I was before because I'm trying to lose more weight than I've ever lost. Um, so yeah, man, and we able to enjoy food and have fun so. That's that. Yeah. But we ain't going to hold y'all. We going to get on out of here, man. Just wanted to drop in and 
excuse me, eat these bowls and a couple handfuls of popcorn. Talk about that disgusting freak. <laughs> yeah, man. Let me oh. make you just want to lie. <laughs> what? It was so funny. Because your acting is amazing. You need an award. For they real. see me. They know I'm. T- they know I'm being genuine. Okay. I, y'all comment down below if I'm being genuine. Izzy. And be honest. I am. Y'all know me. But yeah, man, we love y'all. We appreciate y'all. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You'll be notified every time we drop a video. You dig? Love conquers all. Together we stand. Divided we fall. Team Jackson, peace and love. I'm starting to really believe that communication is the key. I think communication is the key. We need to start communicating. Let's just start communicating more. Let's have more conversations.